We might as well do that then since everybody on some bullshit. Is she pregnant? So it sounds like that's what it looked like. That's good. Like, have you been touched in this pleasure zone? Oh. Where in public have you been touched in this pleasure zone? Restaurants. Interesting. Do friends touch this part of you? Um, I mean, yeah, occasionally. I mean, really? They touch? Okay. What? Hello. Hi. I'm Sebastian. I'm Woody. And I am a comedian and a stripper. I am a certified sex therapist. That is therapist. a very interesting combination. So you know a lot about sex. Yeah. Do you know what you're guessing today? I'm going to match the pleasure zone with the person. What's a pleasure zone? Pleasure zone in an erogenous zone. You can pretty much use them interchangeably. What are your pleasure zones? I feel like my pleasure zone is my mouth. The abdomen. The backs of my legs. You know, just like right where that little cheek makes that little leg. That's nice for me. Mm. Oh this video God. is sponsored by Lilo. And Lilo? that is one of their toys. I have a lot of Lilo toys at home. The Lilo Dot is a pinpoint clitoral stimulator that allows for endless multiple orgasms. All right, bro, we're going to fast forward through this, bro. Oh, my God. Nipples, chest, totally common. Brain, that's cute. Behind the ear, fingertips, that's interesting. Are you ready to meet the line? Yeah. All right, ready Tell to me. Wow, it's a babe parade. <laughs> What's popping? I'm stressed out now. What? It's very intimidating. Hello, everyone. I'm Sebastian. And I'm a little nervous, though, because I was, um, it's all ladies. I'm usually um, really better with men. But let's explore, you know what I mean? Because I'm ready to learn some shit. That's interesting. Hi. Hi. I'm Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Can I give you a high five? Heck yeah. How do you relate to your body today? I genuinely feel good about my body. I'm pregnant. I feel super sexy. So she is. Sexual when okay. I'm pregnant. All right, pregnant. How has being pregnant changed how you like to be touched? Oh, I'm like cornier in general. So nipples are a really common erogenous zone, and three days of nipple stimulation, and you can induce labor. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely yes. a thing. Hey, fingertips. How's it feeling? <laughs> May I what? try the back of your body? Yes, you may. Okay, thank you. Oh, so this is like getting a back massage. This feels so good. I'm like really. So nice. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. That's the response that I was expecting. So I'm gonna say, like, is your lower back an erogenous zone for you? I mean, it could be, but that's not it. Okay. I will say fingertips. Uh, that is not correct. Damn. Could you stimulate this area in public without getting arrested? Bro, obviously it's not the fingertips. Like, she's looking at you like you're weird as hell. Like, why would you even? Like, what? <laughs> like, my man literally just did spirit fingers on her goddamn hands and said, oh yeah, it's her fingertips. Like, no. It's definitely not. For like indecent exposure? Yeah, anything's possible. Okay. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say nipples. The answer is nipples. Huh? Why, why that one? It's honestly like having two fucking clitorises on my chest. Yes. Like, Can you have an orgasm without genital stimulation? Just, oh, ni just nipple stimulation? Just nipple That's stimulation. really cool, yeah. that's really rare. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my love. You seem kind of timid and shy. A little bit. That's yeah. What people think of me, I think. Um, okay, so how do you feel about anal? <laughs> Damn. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Just went right through it. Just went right to it. Like, no chaser. <laughs> no fucking chaser, bro. Damn. <laughs> The area you picked, has this always been something you enjoyed having touched? Um, I'd say growing up, it was like one of my like biggest insecurities. Interesting. Why do you think it's an insecurity? I feel like it's a common insecurity for like a lot of young girls. Uh-huh. Toy test, may yeah. I? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is nice. I like exploring. Oh, that's a good spot. But your reaction made me feel like that was a new spot. Um, <laughs> great, okay. Um, I'm gonna say behind your ears. It's wrong. It's wrong, okay, I love, I love learning. I'm gonna go with upper spine. Yeah. You're incorrect. I'm gonna guess stomach. You are correct. Stomach, yes, so yes. I, yeah. When you said it was common insecurity for women, I was like, I know it all, mm -hmm. and all about that, yeah. Yeah, so I have these waist <gasps> beads that kind of like help me, um, I guess, battle my insecurity with my stomach. Wow. It's also like for body. Oh, wow. And the beads, is it the stimulus? So, so far, what, that's two for the white girl, right? 
That's two for her. That's two for her. And these dudes are getting their ass kicked. Gay or not, like, they're getting their ass kicked. Relation of physically the beats or the physical reminder that like you're in touch with your stomach? It's the reminder that I'm in touch with my stomach, but nice. also pulling them <gasps> is, is a good From thing. the front, back, or side? Um, usually from the back. Yeah! <laughs> what a pleasure zone. Thanks, Erica. Hello, love. How are you? You I'm seem good. fun. Like, oh. all perky and shit. Yeah. How do you feel about getting a pedicure? Kind of hard for me to sit in one place in so a chair. Knock that one off. Yeah, I gotta knock that one off. <laughs> Are you in a relationship? Yes. Does your partner enjoy touching you in this area? Oh, he's very into it. Why? He's an engineer. He's um, just a very kind of detail-oriented uh -huh. person. He's kind of nerdy. Yeah. So he's like, yes. push here, push here, done. Yes. Great. It's easy to touch someone's lower back, someone's upper spine. Upper engineer. Spine. Jesus. Brain is on here too, so I mean, mm. I guess we could go that direction. If I was like, oh, I'm just not feeling it today, and you were like to reach out to me and comfort me, and you can touch me anywhere you want. Like, oh my what, god, I totally go? go for like the, the shoulder rub here, I guess. Yes. Okay, and then if I were to give you this, <laughs> the Lilo dot. Yeah, I'd probably like still stimulate like right in here, you know? Like, okay. Just... Like lower back is just screaming to me. Yeah, that is not the right answer. I love it. I'm thinking um, wrist, to be honest. Damn, this is hard. I need some men in here. Second plan. <laughs> it's like, what is it? So mine was brain. Oh, yeah, okay. I need the mental stimulation. So I'm not. Oh, she's one of those. She's what? Sapiosexual. That's what it is, right? Isn't that what that, uh, that's what that's called, right? Sapiosexual. Yeah, that's what that's called. When you, like, are sexually, uh, stimulated by your brain you know what i'm saying like you're sexually stimulated by knowledge or by by someone's intellect like automatically physically aroused mm -hmm. i want to be able to like be in a space where i feel very comfortable like mm -hmm. just giving myself to someone yes. So, yes i live for that maybe mine can be brain too now here we go yes <laughs> we're brain <-o. laughs> I'm putting a heart on this one, bitch. Don't take jotting down there. <laughs> this is my business. What? Like, what oh, you, hi. Over there jotting when down notes. Like, trying to get down with somebody else. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. Do you have tattoos yourself? Yeah. <gasps> Do you like to be bitten in this area? Yeah. Can you be touched at a restaurant and no one would be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, have you ever done that? Yeah. Where, what restaurant? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's figure this shit out. So wait, with the Lilo, you can touch all your pleasure zones that you want. Sure. Wait, behind the ear? What if she queefs? Or... <laughs> I like this toy. You what the fuck? Settings too. Yeah. I like the one that goes like this. I'm gonna say maybe behind the ears. Maybe behind your ears? There's something about the way you lifted your hair. You really like have done that before. <laughs> Amazing. What a great day. Upper spine. Upper, Upper spine. spine. <laughs> okay, that is so specific. All right. Tell me more. Well, right. It's a continuation of the ears and the neck and the collarbone, you know. So I'm kind of right. I was, you know, it's crazy. In my mind, I was thinking it's neck. I was thinking it's the neck. So I would have been in the general area if I had guessed it. I'd have been in, I, I would have been kind of there, like, because she said upper spine. So, I mean, it's, you know. I'd have been, I, you know, I'd have got it kind of right. You take your Lilo dot and you just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, up and over. Yeah, all day. Yeah, right, same. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about your upper spine. Hello. Hi. I like your shoes. Thanks. And you have a pedicure, I see. I your heels, very adventurous. Yeah. I support it. Thanks. Um, how do you feel about anal? <laughs> I mean, mostly I'm doing that to other people, but Yeah, like... I love this. Shit. You're giving me Dom vibes. What do you do with your time? Um, I'm a dominatrix. Love so. it. Are you local? That is 100% what I would think that she would be. 100%. 100%. I'm not surprised by that. Not in the least. In the least, I'm not surprised by that. That actually makes a lot of fucking sense.
am. Do you take new clients? I do. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, so in your personal life, I assume that you take work home in a way that's more fun for you? My work life influences my personal life and vice versa. Yeah, I so. bet. I'm gonna use the oh, stylus. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. I see man kind of vibes. Ah! I got one see? right, bitch. It. <laughs> Tell me more about that. Well, I'm a foot guy myself. Yeah, no, I like feet. It started as like a professional thing. Sure. But like having your feet worshipped and massage feels fucking great. So good. So good. We have so. an anti pleasure agenda in our American society we specifically. Do. And we there's do. something about foot worship that does feel like focused on mm -hmm. feeling good. It does. That's I true. love that. Thank you for chatting with me yeah, about your feet. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, last person. Hey, cutie, how are you? You're so cute. I love your hair. Damn. Where in public have you been touched in this pleasure zone? Restaurants. Interesting. Do friends touch this part of you? Um, I mean, yeah, occasionally. I mean, really? They touch? Okay. <laughs> Are you consenting to have your hand touched? I am. What about your wrist? Mm, I think you like this better than this. Out of all these, I'm like, you just seem like very like- A wrist person? And chill. Wrist, out of all these, I think would be the moment. There's something very like modest about your wrist coverage right now. Are you like, oh my God? Fuck up my wrists. Absolutely correct. <gasps> yeah, it's a fucking yeah. wrist. Yo, I said wrist, bro. Yo, I said wrist, bro. Tell me more about wrist play. Having a, a, an area where is it technically sexual become sexual was really interesting to me. And then I'm also more on the submissive side, so yeah. like cuffs. And sure, so like props around your wrist is really uh, weird. Uh, what makes that your pleasure zone? I wasn't very sexual until recently, and so it was kind of an area where I could um, incorporate like non-sexual elements, but also like have that kind of Still that vibe. Got yeah. you. It's a sneaky yeah. little moment. Yeah. Ah, I like that. I feel like I've learned so much today. How cute is that? Bet. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you learn about yourself today? Talking with all of you, I think it's really clear that like it's all different, it's all situational, and like we can know what we're into, but I think like finding good partners that respect Why us. Why is he talking to, to the fucking toy like it's a mic? And make us feel like taken care of. Helps us discover new zones as well. What advice do you have for people exploring their body? You have your partner lie down and you take turns touching them and they're kind of exploring their body with consent, obviously, and sort of figuring out where they like to be touched. Because that's generally a huge problem is people, one, don't know what they want or two, don't know how to ask for it. The Lilo Dot offers climaxing with unmatched. All right, and there's enough of that. But very interesting. Very, very uh, interesting um, video. <laughs> very, very interesting video, man. I got like one or two right, so. They probably should have asked me. I probably would have been better off than these niggas. Just being real. Just being real. What the hell? Just being real, bro. Just being real.